All right, here's another video review. This is for GigaPowers, GigaSaurs, Gaudenter in his robot mode, their version of the Masterpiece Swoop. It's kind of part two of my Gaudenter video. I did one with him in pterodactyl mode, and here he is transformed into robot mode and very excited as this completes the GigaPower set and video reviews. I have converted all the GigaPower Dinobots back to robot mode to show them off here and very excited as these guys are very impressive in robot mode. Swoop comes with two swords which are pretty cool looking. Looking at them I actually wish they were maybe a little thinner and longer but they look pretty cool. And he does have his missile launchers that clip on to the wings. This is the second release of this Chrome version. Doesn't look like they changed the face sculpt, which not, not a huge fan of it. It's very, he just doesn't have a lot of personality. He looks kind of angry. Um, that'd be one, one complaint. Wish they had made his face maybe a little more friendly. He seemed, he was like the friendlier Dinobot. I do like the Autobot logo, kind of in that height. I think that looks good on him. The gold chrome, the silver chrome wings, looking really nice. He does have the multicolor blue. I don't know if you can see. I really don't mind the light blue. I do like that dark blue in the mid torso. Almost wish they'd applied that everywhere. At the top, the blue kind of fades a little bit. Doesn't look as impressive. But the red on the head, really nice. And, you know, overall, very stunning looking figure on par with the others. His feet, similar to Super Tour, don't have a great rocker. So if you've gotten them in a wide leg pose it'd be hard to get his feet straight but not a huge deal for the way that I usually display them the quick 360 here just got a lot of reflectivity to him there he is from the side a little bit of a backpack with the wings folding up and just the wings being kind of beefy but yeah, it doesn't look, doesn't look too bad. You get nice reflective back wings, which, you know, he looks, he looks good. He looked good from the back in pterodactyl mode, too. Just get the full, all the colors kind of coming together there. Transformation wasn't too bad. Um, seemed like it should have been easier than it was. I had a little bit of difficulty, and again, it's only, it's only the first time I did it. Getting his robot head and dino head to kind of, this hinge joint to kind of fold down the right way and get everything kind of clipped in, feeling good. But I, I did get it, and I think, I'm sure it'll be easier on subsequent times that I transform them. So do a couple size comparisons here. He is pretty big. He's definitely the smallest Giga Power, but he is still big. Here he is with Wheeljack. As you can see he's just really big compare, compare comparatively. So quite a few size comparisons here. Here he is with Ironhide. Just show different size comparisons because he's a unique size. He's, you know, he's not the same size as the other Giga Powers. He's not the same size as MP44, as you'll see. Um, so just an interesting, try to get one of each of the types of sizes here. Here he is with Fans Toys Rogue. There are C, who's a little taller than Wheeljack. He's got those look. And then here he is with a couple of my uh, 
MP52 seeker bots here. You can see them with, you know, how it kind of looks with with those the seekers. Looks like he could crush them. He's a lot bigger than Starscream, but I, I do think that he should be. Again, Dinobots, no problem with them being big. Still really liking these MP52 mold bots. And here he is with Optimus Prime. And yeah, maybe the scale chart is supposed to be about the same size as Optimus Prime. I always envisioned them bigger, so I don't have any problem with Swoop being taller than Optimus. And here he is with Ultra Magnus. And they are... Ultra Magnus's head is taller. The swoops tip of his wing up here goes above the tip of Ultra Magnus arm piece there. So pretty cool. And then I'm gonna see if I can get all the Gigapower bots on this shelf. So one more look at swoop before he gets dwarfed by his um, team. So here is Super Tour. And I think he's, he's definitely one of my favorites. It's between him and Sludge. And speaking of Sludge, here he is, Graviter, um, just very, very impressive looking bots. I'm gonna try to move, move them as close together as I can, just so you can see them closer. Then we got Grasser, Slag, there he is. And then finally, we have Gutter, or Snarl, over there. So, you know, there's Snarl, Sludge, Swoop, Grimlock, and Slag. The Giga Power Dinobot set, Chrome version in all their glory, and... Yeah, they're just very impressive looking together on the shelf. Um, I think the blue on Swoop complements all the red very nicely. They all have a good, good mix of gold chrome, silver chrome, reds, blues, you know, gold, the, the gold chest of Grimlock, the gold head of Slag, you know, they just... Fit really nice together and look really nice together. I'm going to do one more video to show off my shelf, how I situated these guys in robot mode. A little bit of a challenge to get them all in there and fitting with the rest of my collection, but the end result I think is pretty good. And I'll definitely say robot mode is better than dino mode for these guys if you want. If you want to really uh, reap the benefits of the size and paint and awesomeness of all these, you really want to display them in robot mode. Not saying you can't turn them into dino mode here and there. Or if you have two versions of the figure, go right ahead. But you just don't get the full um, effect having them in dinosaur mode, in my, in my opinion. I just think the robot modes look so cool. Yeah, and Swoop is a great, 
great finale to the collection. Um, and yeah, so definitely recommend all these. Recommend getting Gaudenter to finish out your set. Um, and like I said, happy to be done. This will be the last Giga Power Gigasaur video review. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. I would definitely appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts, what you want to see. And let me just throw, as usual, throw Optimus back in the mix here. Get one last little shot of the Dinobots with Optimus Prime looking great on the shelf. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review.